Hey YouTube, Consulting Joe here with another video and today we're going to be talking about deploying Office to uh, your small business or large business. But uh, this video is to discuss how to install Microsoft Office for uh, a long-term uh, service contract uh, like this version which is not the Office 365. Um, and it's not a normal install process. So just to kind of walk through what is required if you have a vendor that gives you a uh, product key and that product key works on one or five different licenses, you have to install Office using this setup application here and a install command. So I've got mine set up to a network drive, but basically you would just access yours like this. So we'd run the setup file uh, application with uh, the configure option, and then we would pass in our configuration XML file. And so that XML file looks just like this. And then for more information on this, there is this Microsoft document here, uh, which they've recently updated because it did not have a lot of this information. They recently put the sample XML back in here. This was not here for a good period of time, which left me very confused. I uh, had to work with the vendor support to figure out what I needed and then uh, got it going. So this is the sample that they give you. You put in your product license key. Let me see what I've got here. <clears throat> So what is really necessary is this. Uh, this isn't really necessary, but it's nice to just make it auto activate. It appears you can add this line here uh, to auto accept the agreement, which I didn't have. So my users had to just click accept, not a big deal. Um, but this is the most important right here. So. What you would do to install this is if we go to our command, we copy this over and we open our command line prompt, which is CMD. And then we want to navigate to our downloads. And then this is located inside of slash office setup with config. So if we see, we've got our three files here. So if I run this setup in this folder uh, with that config file, and that is, let's say XXX, we hit enter, we get this prompt. It looks like it's gonna install Microsoft Office 365, uh, but that is not true because of our configuration file. And uh, I'm getting an error. Uh, that I have to first uninstall Microsoft Office 365. So that is very important to install any old versions or even new versions of Office like 365 you have before you can install uh, this. So, uh, but once you are fully uninstalled with all that, this will install, it'll automatically apply your key and then it'll activate for you. So uh, feel free to leave some comments, uh, like the video if this helped and if you'd like more videos on this in the future um, or other cool things, please feel free to subscribe. So thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.